Hello dear students, in today's trick number 185, we shall do a very very important concept of direct and inverse variation which finds wide applicability in all numerical ability examinations and also the students of class 8th, 9th, they study this concept at school level. So to understand what is direct variation and inverse variation, uh, we will take so many examples. Before that, I must tell you that whenever increase in one quantity results in increase of another quantity or decrease of one quantity results in decrease in another quantity then the two quantities which move together upwards or downwards they are said to be in direct variation just like we have number of items brought and the cost so if you bring more items then obviously the cost will be more so if the items increase number of items increase then cost also increases so it is direct variation likewise for traveling a particular distance you need to pay a particular fare so if you travel more distance then obviously you have to pay more fare so these are also in direct variation whereas in inverse variation increase in one quantity results in decrease in the related quantity or decrease in one quantity results in increase in the other quantity so when the two variables move in opposite direction one increases and the other decreases then these two variables are said to be in inverse variation so we have one example here see suppose number of men and time required to finish a work if there are more men then lesser number of days will be required to do the work very simple similarly whenever speed to cover a particular distance increases if we increase the speed the time required will automatically decrease so increase in speed results in decrease in time so these two are said to be in inverse variation now let us try and solve some problems through a shortcut how we can find the variable x in each of these problems the first problem is that of a typing uh, test suppose in 30 minutes a person can type 540 words then in 6 minutes how many words will he type so in all these questions first step is to identify whether the problem is of direct variation or inverse variation so if you see if the time decreases here the time is decreasing then obviously number of words typed will also decrease no one can type more words in less time so when the time is decreasing the number of words type will also decrease so it is a problem of direct variation because both are decreasing together so in case of direct variation the value of the variable x is simply find out found out by cross multiplying the known variables that is here if you multiply like this x is unknown but if you multiply like this both quantities are known so just take in the numerator just take 540 and 6 multiply together and just divide it by the remaining known quantity that is 30 you will get the required answer through this shortcut within 3 to 4 seconds of time so just cancel 0 here and 3 cancels 2 times so our answer is 108 words will be typed in 6 minutes now having known this concept you can solve all these problems very easily all these problems relate to direct variation only see if 12 books cost rupees 156 what is the cost of 7 books so obviously when we increase, decrease the number of books cost will also decrease so again direct variation so the known two are like this 156 and 7 so multiply these two we always cross and multiply the two which are known and just divide by the third known quantity this is 12 so when you cancel 12 by 156 
you get 13 and 13 into 7 you get 91. So your answer is 91 is the cost of 7 books. Another one see time and distance. Time taken to cover distance 100 meters is 125. So what is the uh, in 315 minutes how much distance will be covered so here you see time is increasing so whenever time is increasing then obviously you will cover more distance so distance will also increase again direct variation so for finding the value of x just cross multiply the two known quantities 315 and 100 and divide it by the third quantity 125 so you see if you cancel here by 25 this will come to be 4, this will be 5 and 5 cuts off exactly 63 times. So your answer will be 63 into 4, 240 plus 12, 252. Likewise see distance and fare. When the distance decreases obviously you have to pay less fare. So the two are decreasing simultaneously. So again direct variation. Multiply. So x will be 15 into 139.2 upon the known value 240. 15 goes exactly 15 1 the 15, 90, 15 6 the 90 and 16 goes 16 1 the 16, sorry 16 8 the, if you see 16 8 the you will get 128 so 11.2 that is 112 so decimal 16 into 7 so your answer is 6.70 so the fare for covering a distance of 139.2 kilometers is 6.70 rupees likewise you see here we have the wages if the wage is increasing, obviously the person has to work greater number of days. So when this increases, this also increases direct variation. So find the value of x, 6 into 875 and divide by the third quantity 210. So when you see 6 cancels out, 6 threes are 18. 30, 6, 5 is a 30 and if you try to cancel this by 5, you get 7 here and 1, you get 37, so 7, 25, so 5 and 7 cancels out exactly 25 times, so answer is 25. So you see direct variation questions, all questions can be solved in a matter of 3 to 4 seconds only. Come to indirect variation. Now here you have number of workers are decreasing. So obviously number of days taken will increase. If the number of workers are less, they will take more number of days to finish the work. So this is a question of inverse variation. Remember in all these questions you need to first identify whether the question is of direct variation or of inverse variation. So this is inverse variation. So in case of inverse variation, what we do is just multiply the two which are known one below the other. Here we used to cross multiply. Here we multiply the numbers which are known one below the other. So 52 into 35 and divided by the third known quantity that is 28. So if you cancel 7 times, 7 4s are and 7 5s are. And 4 goes exactly 13 times. So 13 into 5, 65 is the answer. Likewise, you see speed and time. Here the time is decreasing. So when will the time decrease? When the speed will increase. If you increase the speed, the time will decrease. So this is a question of inverse variation again. So what is the value of x? Just multiply the two knowns one below the other and divide it by the third quantity known quantity 15 so you get uh, 12 into 20 is 240 
and divided by 15 so this is exactly 15 1 the 15 and left with 90 15 6 the 90 so 16 is the answer similarly see if there are some men 120 men and the food for them lasts for 195 days then if the men are decreasing if number of men are less then food will last for more days so this is inverse variation again so how do you find the value of x here multiply the two which are known one below the other 120 into 195 and just divide by 90 the known quantity here so 0 cancels out 12 and 9 3 3 is a 9 3 4 is a 12 so here 3 goes 3 6 is a 18 and 65 so 65 into 4 that is 260 days is the answer likewise you see here we have number of machines as 3 and time taken is 60 so 60 minutes time for painting if 3 machines working together take 60 minutes time how much time will be taken by 5 machines so here you see number of machines is increasing so if there is increase in number of machines obviously the time taken will be less so this is inverse variation again so you can very easily find out the value of x here just multiply the two one below the other which are known and divided by the third quantity 5 so 5 cancels exactly 12 times so 12 3 the 36 is the answer so you see all these questions are very very important very indeed very important and very frequently asked in competitive exams and this is a very amazing shortcut for solving these problems without any fuss without taking much time in competitions and students at school level they can apply the traditional method for solving it in examinations but they can verify the, their answers using this shortcut so keep learning the video videos watch it share it and subscribe the channel if you like it